Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. Today, somebody asked me about using the mid side feature in Melda EQs. And it's actually very easy. So today I'm going to show you how you can do that and perhaps give you some ideas of things you might want to use it for. So I have this song. I released this a few months ago. Actually, it's called Marewell. I'll let you hear just a little bit of it. So there we go. What we want to do here is let's first add an EQ. You can use almost any Melda EQ. I'll give you some examples or uh, some exceptions later, but let's use M Auto Dynamic EQ first. So we have this on the master and something that oftentimes you want to do is get rid of the side information on the low end. Now, if we look in here now, we right click on one of the bands, you see left and right. You might be wondering, okay, like, what's that do? So let's set this to, let's say a high pass filter here. I'll turn down the slope here. So we should have a normal high pass filter. And if we play it and move it up, you'll see what happens, what you'd expect. It's just a filter. Now let's say we take the left side, click on left after we right click, and let's try it now. Only one side will be affected. And you see the color change. So let me move it over here. I'll right click it here. If I click on the right one, it changes to red. So we'll switch sides like that. And by default, it's on left and right. So we'll do both channels. Now that might be useful to you, but you're probably like, oh, get to the mid side. Okay, I'll do that. So here in the toolbar, you see we have lots of settings. Here's the oversampling, but right below the oversampling, we have this left and right. This is default but we can actually change this. So now if we put on left, it's just gonna process the left channel like this. So even though it looked like we had it set to left and right, it's only gonna process the left no matter what we do. Same thing with right and same thing with mid here, like this. So it's only gonna process the mid channel and same thing with side. Now we have a few other options here, like we can uh, invert the right or left one. So play the left, invert the right. And this one where it will uh, zero it, which means it's going to play the left and you're not gonna hear the right at all like this. Now, normally you wouldn't use this, but this might be good for checking certain things. And certainly I think it's good here where we can use this mid sides or mid zero side, or just hear the sides and not hear any of the mid content like this. Now that's all fine and good, but you're probably saying this isn't useful. That's not what I want. I'm just trying to get rid of some low end on the sides. Uh, so what we can do is just go here to mid side mode here. It's mid plus side. We're gonna go in here, right click it. Now it's set to mid and side. For this one, let's just choose side here. Okay, and then we're gonna move our filter like this. So I moved it up fairly high there, and I think you can hear a difference. It sounds a little bit more controlled. Now, you don't always want that, but there's a lots of times you don't want a lot of low end. I moved this up a little bit higher than I normally would just for the sake of the video, and so it's a little bit more apparent what it's doing, but that's how you can do mid-side work using Melda plugins. So this is a very common one here, but let me show you another thing you might want to do with it. So besides just doing it on the master channel, I think a lot of time the reverb kind of needs this. So if we play this. So this isn't too bad. Uh, one of the reasons is M Turbo Reverb actually has this kind of going on already, I believe. So I can 
just cut the low end there, which is always nice. And it has the not only just low cut and high cut, but it has side low cut here. So now it's cutting off this and it's doing the exact same thing just inside the algorithm. So now I turn that all the way down, I'm gonna turn this down too. So imagine you're just using some other uh, reverb or something and you don't have this. So now we have much more low end like this. I can already hear that uh, bass on the side. So what we're gonna do is just open this and instead of using the big expensive one, let's use M Equalizer. So I imagine if you unlock the free bundle, you should already have this. What we can do is go into here and I'm gonna use side zero mid just so I can see what's happening here with the equalizer. Now what I'm gonna do is just right click this and I'll choose high pass filter, maybe was it 24 decibels per octave and just move this up. Now what I want to do is just go back to mid side here and then I'm going to go in here and make sure this is just cutting off the sides like this. That's much more controlled, but let's try something else. Let's make this a little bit brighter and wider. So we got rid of some of the low end, but let's add some high end here. So I'm gonna use this. This is a shelf filter here. And now it's doing the mid and the side, but let's just try the side here. Let's listen to this and move this up like this. So let's do a before and after. As you can see, the volume isn't very different at all, but when I bypass it and unbypass it, you should hear a bit of a difference. I think that's definitely noticeable. And let's hear it in the mix. It'll probably be less noticeable in the mix, but I think you'll still be able to hear it. So let's try it. So this provides some subtle widening and gets rid of some of the mud. And it's not really affecting too much of your sound because you're just using it on the reverb bus. Some other applications of this are, you might want to cut a pad or some background sound around the area where your lead instrument or your vocals are. And cutting it on the side, especially if it's like a big stereo pad or maybe a guitar with chorus uh, and getting rid of the mid, will let the vocal cut through the mids, but it will still let the stereo sound be heard on the side, so that's something else you can do. So using this, especially with effects, can be very, very nice. Even sometimes cutting out the mids of some like reverb or something, so it doesn't get in the way of your vocals, bass, uh, drums, etc., can be nice. So hopefully that answered your question on how to use this. One thing I should mention here is there are two EQs that this won't work as well with, and those two are, uh, let's see, in freeform equalizer. And the reason that is, is although we have all these different options here, here there's, here there's no point. So I can't choose mid, mid or side here. Even if I set this to mid side mode, I don't really have much control here. So that's one where you're like, okay, that's probably not the best for doing this. Although you can just, you know, EQ one side or just EQ the mids or sides. You can do that if you want. And the other one is M Turbo EQ. 
And the reason this one might not be as good is because we don't have anything to right click and do anything with here. So I could use this just for the, let's say, sides here, if I just want to process the side amount like this. But I can't choose to make each one of these a mid band or side band, or this is mid and side, this is just side. I can't do that on this one like I could with the other ones. So that's just a, kind of a warning. However, as you can see, you can just process the side with this or process the mids with this. So if you really wanted to use M Turbo EQ in this way, I'd probably just use two different instances like I have here. I'd use, oh, this one's set to side, and I'd use this one set to mid. And you can come up with all sorts of cool things that way if you wanted. So hopefully that gave you an idea of what you can do with mid-side equalizers inside Melda EQs. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.